Woody, uh, you said, I don't know if you want, you said that Wings was texting or calling you today. And you, did you ever get back to him? Uh, it, back and forth. So he texted me last night, but it was really late. Like I didn't catch it until just before bedtime. So I was like, I won't call now. It's 1130. Turns out that would have been a good time to call. Yeah. So I hit him up this morning and I'm like, hey, is now a good time to talk. But he didn't get back to me like 5.30 tonight. He had just woken up. And uh, I, I don't know. Like I had to have dinner. I had a video meeting and then the show. And I was like, I don't have time mm -hmm. to fit in a Wings call. Um, so I don't even know what the agenda is or the topic. He, he just said he needed to talk. So I, was, I hope he's all right. So when you when you messaged me that, that like, oh, man, I need to get back to Wings, blah, blah, blah. Um, I just went on YouTube and searched Wings Redemption. And like the the newest stuff seemed to be that he lost his PSN account again, and mm. uh, <clears throat> whether it was like a realistic concern or or not, he seemed to be concerned that um, I guess they had contacted his local sheriff's department and uh, let him know that he had talked about possessing um, before, uh -huh. um, in a sort of a jokey kind of way, and uh, maybe they need to look into that. And uh, so he was worried. He, as he put it, that they were going to come and like take all of his shit. So, and you know, which would be his streaming setup yeah. and everything. His life and, uh, and you know, you don't get that shit back. <laughs> you know, they, they, when, when they take that shit, they've taken the phones from you, not for that, but for ATL. Oh, I, oh, yeah, yeah. They've taken all sorts of stuff. Like, I lost a gaming PC for a while. I had to go pick it up in a federal building. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, they, they like, had my, they like wheeled it out in a cart from like a <laughs> scary, like upper level why did they take it from you to. was it re it was on the explosives charges when they like came and tested that car i had blown up for for they, what it was was they 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 came and they thought i was using high explosives in my videos right and i really wish someone had said hey what are you using and i've been like oh man it's tannerite and you do this to it in a little bit and it man it looks good and if you do this then it looks like this and it's pretty basic stuff that's all legal and uh instead they thought i was using debt quarter tnt or something and uh so they confiscated all my um tannerite T dan tanner would send me like packages uh that, that weren't like civilian packages or i don't i don't know why it's like uh like they weren't person normal buy if they ordered they yeah he's commercial. sending me stuff which is a little bit different than sending you stuff not only but, do i have all the licenses in place but yeah ask questions it's the yeah. same stuff it's the quantity that's different am i right yeah, and the packaging. So, like, oh. the individual packaging that he would normally send things out is meant for a to be safe for a consumer. Meanwhile, he knows what I'm doing with it. I'm blowing a whole fucking Nissan Altima yeah. up with it or some right. shit. So he just sends me a big barrel of stuff, right? It's all on the up and up. But, like, they took that, and then they took the car. Remember the car that I took from Jeremy, took back from Jeremy and blew up because he he had to hot rod my actual target vehicle and got <laughs> that the gas. That. Yeah, the gas can't the gas tank like stirs up this dirt, goes in the the uh the fuel filters, car stops work. I'm like, all right, Jeremy, that car of mine that you've been driving around for months, basically making your car, give it back. It's got to go. It was a uh, Pathfinder. So yeah, they took that. That's a good took, car. Is that the one whose door flew towards you? No, that was just a pickup truck. Oh, you're um, right. Yeah. That I don't really I think it was a Ford. The one of those square body Fords, maybe. I had a combination of you're right and I'm wrong, and it came out as I'm right. <laughs> That's not what I was going for at all. <laughs> oh. I'm still I'll agree. I'll I'm agree. right. Fuck. <laughs> but, but yeah, like when they finally gave me all my shit back or whatever, it was uh it was just a, a cart full of electronics. Cause the, cause they don't really I think what the warrants will often say, it won't be like iPad in the dining room. It'll be like anything with a screen. It's like, dude, that that navigation system is one of the dumb ones. Like it's one of the old ones that just goes from like point A to point B. Like this, your toaster oven has a countdown. Oh, this yeah. will be coming with me. We're gonna need your Samsung fridge. <laughs> it's like, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, if they take if they were to take his shit away, you know, it put him out of business for a considerable amount of time. Wouldn't be good. He'd have to. So, yeah, I don't know what he's been up to. You know, he usually knows how to kick the bee's nest and get things all stirred up for himself. So who knows? Maybe he did that. But uh, maybe he'll get in touch with you and, and give you the, the inside scoop. I'm always interested. For some reason, yeah. I can't help it. Sometimes when it's interesting, I'm interested. When it's just his general, like, perpetual nihilistic sort of depressed funk, it's like, 
dude, as someone who's been as low as him, he should be able to appreciate the medium high moments. Like my my little prison experience has made me appreciate every fucking day. Man, I'll I'll wake I fell down those stairs today. I bet a lot of people would have been bummed out after that. I was thinking, <laughs> man, stairs in prison are so much worse to fall down. Stairs in prison are made out of fucking metal or, or concrete if you're lucky. If you're lucky, you fall down concrete stairs in prison. Concrete but, gives a little. Concrete you're tear all your back skin off. Concrete's like, not moved, sharp at metal. least. It's just rough. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like I'd rather fall down rough than sharp. There's a big difference. And yeah. at, like, like anytime I'm a little bummed out, I, I think about like sure is better than fighting with Parker over the fucking channel on ESPN, <laughs> ain't it though? Because <laughs> Parker would have beat you to death. <laughs> It is. It's great that you have that sense of perspective still. 